What's up everyone? It's Tuesday, August 30th, 2011. Today is a major release in Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. Well, it's sort of a major release. I don't know if you can consider it that, but in this case it is. Um, why? Simply put, these tins are the single most important thing coming out this fall for Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, other than this, I doubt there's anything else coming out. I'd have to check. But today... Um, the tins have come out, the collectible tins, and I have not even opened these. In fact, the stickers are on them. The price stickers are also on them because I got them from my local hobby shop. But what we are looking at today, ladies and gentlemen, is something pretty cool, something pretty unique and special. Konami is actually sort of fessed up to making a kind of broken card and is offering it to the to the to the fans who actually play this game, like myself, by giving us a. Really hard to get secret rare, I'm gonna adjust the camera, and making it easy to get. So I bought two tins today. Uh, the one on the left is Wind Up Zen Master, and the one on the right is number, sorry, 17. It's hard to read through that, through the stupid wrapping, but anyway, number 17, Leviathan Dragon, and both of these are actually pretty good, especially the wind ups. So, with that said, let's open these suckers up. I'll open up the Leviathan Dragon Tin because that's what I'm pretty sure everyone's more interested in anyways to see what you get. I'll open both tins up but I'm going to set that one to the side. So, right, so, right away you get an explanation telling you what is an XYZ monster, telling you what is an XYZ summon, starter deck, telling you where you can get the starters. And then it has a next preview to the next set called Photon Shockwave and then Hidden Arsenal 5. And then there's two more things for a legendary collection too. We'll get to, and then there's a um, thing for the wave two of tins, but we'll get to that in a second. What you get, flimsy plastic. You get in every tin, two Storm of Ragnarok, one, one Extreme Victory, and two, and two Trishula's um, Triumph. And the five extra cards in this deck, Obviously, Leviathan Dragon and Pot of Duality. And then in this, you get Stygian Street Patrol, Beast King Barbaros, and Dark Samorg. These three cards are all very good cards. Um, the worst out of the bunch probably is, I hate to say it, Dark Samorg. The reason being, um, there's this monster called Blackluster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. And he is essentially a lockdown monster that well, does way like your effect. It's like comparing apples to oranges, but in terms of summoning conditions, it's just way better. Uh, this guy's really good too. Currently in the meta, but a duality. In case you don't know about it, here's the scoop on why this is suddenly a like thirteen dollar card for the, from the tens. Back in I think. Oh man, I can't even remember the set, but I know it was back earlier this year, like way earlier this year, like in January, February. Konami had the bright idea to release a set where um, Pot of Duality would be a secret, secret rare print. And a lot of people don't realize it, but that card was a very expensive card. And I only opened up the Extreme Victory Pack, hoping for a tour guide. Nope. <laughs> so that's Leviathan Dragon Tin. Leviathan Dragon Tin. Wow, my phone goes off. Thanks, phone. Let's just put that on silent for now. <laughs> Phone's going off everywhere, yes. So the next tin I'm opening up is the Wind Up Zen Master. Again, you got your little thing there. Now, Zen Master, I am going to read off because he is a part of a theme. It's two level four monsters. This card gains 300 attack for each XYZ material attached to this card. Once per turn, you can detach one XZ, XYZ material from this card. Excuse me, to target one face up monster you control, change it to face down defense position, and during the end phase of the turn, change it to face up attack position. So, that's basically like a book of whom for wind ups. Zen Master's not bad. So again, your Zen Master, not that, <laughs> your duality. And then some of these are really interesting. 
We get Neil Parshath, the Sky Paladin, finally, in US print, or I think we've had him for a while, correct me if I'm wrong. But Neil Parshath, he's okay. His picture's pimping. Um, we got E Hero, Elemental Hero, Gaia. Um, and when this card diffuses summon, target it, target one face up monster and its attack and defense its attack is held and it gains the same amount of attack. So Gaia has a lot of potential. Christia is actually in the one of Zenimaster the one of Zenimaster ten and that's a little surprising considering how powerful Christia is, so she's not that hard to get anymore. And like the other ten you get two Trishula, one Extreme Victory, and one Stormer Ragnarok. I'm going to open up only the Extreme Victory packs. I'm not opening up anything else on camera. Not nothing. Junk. Yeah, just junk. Nothing interesting. So, yeah. Um, if you want my opinion on these tins, if you really, really, really need a pot of duality, which I'm pretty sure you do if you're a competitive player... Actually, if you're a really committed player, you don't even need these tins at this point because chances are you already have two copies of these. I only bought two of these because I don't travel to tournaments. I don't really need Pot of Duality that much. It's just a nice card to have. But really, if you're looking for an easy-to-get Leviathan Dragon, this would be the place to get it. Um, if you need a wind-up Zenimaster for whatever reason, this is the place to get it. So... And like I said, oh yeah, now we're going to go into this thing. So, another thing, so XYZ summons, basically, I don't think I, ex nobody really explained how they work, but what you want to do, let me get it up close to the camera, you see that rank on the very left right there? You've got to basically have two monsters at the same level. And just stack them on top, kind of like this. I'm just going to use these two as an example. But stack them like that, and your exceed will go on top of it. They're still considered monsters, by the way. So Sangin will activate. So effects like Sangin will activate. That's why Tour Guide is so good right now. But we're not here to judge cards that cannot be stupidly made. Not already. Um, and another thing to note about exceeds, that's not a monster level. That is a rank. So, keep that in mind. Still, so cards like Gravity Mind will not affect them at all. Which is weird. Um, on the back, you have Photon Shockwave, which gives us more XYZ monsters, so you're going to run by two boxes of that. And then, Legendary Collection 2. I am just... Oh, yeah. Legendary Collection 2, folks, it's just going to be like... It's basically a GX type binder thing. I wouldn't recommend buying the Legendary Collection 2 simply due to the fact that Legendary Collection 1 only had the three god monsters. Chances are Legendary Collection 2 won't have anything special at all except for Yuria, Raviel, and Yuria, I guess. Now, Wave 2 is by far what? Um, Wave 2 is more XYZ monsters after Photon Shock Waves come out, obviously. So, check this out because they have to have a knight and a dragon for every generation that is Gaia or Blue Eyes esque. Listen to the names of these new monsters Number 10, Illuminite, and Galaxy Eyes, Photon Dragon. What the fuck, Konami? Can you get original? Can you not copy monsters from previous generations and try to apply them to later generations? I don't understand what Konami's thinking about this is, but. Anyway, um, I don't know how good they are. I haven't seen anything of Photon Shockwave. Chances are, if I chances are, if Galaxy Eyes um, is really good, as in I will end your life immediately, good, he'll probably end up being played in Hopeless Dragon. Um, other than that, I don't really see Galaxy Eyes being a credible threat, <clears throat> based on the fact that I know he requires two level eight dragons for exceed summoning. So, anyway, um. I have no comment on Illuminate, but on Illuminate, other than really Konami, what the fuck? I could do a little editorial thing, but I'm not going to. So anyway, that's it. Um, 
for your tins, for your metal things that you can use to bash intruders with at night when you sleep. <laughs> but that's it for these. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and hope and I'll see you again.